morning, side friends. It's Mitty Man coming back at you from Walker's Music for yet another word for the day. And I do say good morning because it's about 1.14 Eastern Standard Time. And I'm just now beginning to do my little nightcap for the word for the day. And uh, I want to give a shout out to Baby Justice all the way up to Big Papa JT as well as Mama JT. We love you. Remember that. I just want to give God, God honor and give him all the grace, give him all the praise, and give him all his glory. And I want to do something a little bit different tonight. I want to tell all of my sisters and my brothers in Christ, and I'm going to read something and hopefully it'll console us all because we all need lifting up in these times we're living in. And what I'm going to read to you tonight is 20, Revelation chapter 21. And let me read a few verses of that. And I saw, this John speaking, a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcome it shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Listen to this, people. Listen to this. But the fearful, unbelieving, and the abominable, murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, but especially the doers of his holy word. My people, we win. Yes, yes, we win. That tells us right there, we win. You see, people, this here should be enough for us to endure. Whatever come our way, I know it get hard. I'm, I'm, look, I'm telling you, I know, if, if you're like me, I know it get hard with you. Sometimes you don't feel like it. Sometimes you miss the mark. You fall down so hard. Sometimes you skin your knees. But you get back up because of this here. We win, people. Yes. Satan's going to come after us, but we win. He said, he that endure, he that overcome shall inherit all things. Let us overcome, people. Let's, let's, let's stay in the race. Because we, we, we guarantee we can't lose. We win. Jesus already fixed it. But now, oh Lord, people, if you are in these categories, if you're fearful, unbelieving, if you are abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars. Now, you got in, if you, if you in, if it, in any of those categories, in the lake of fire, you're going to have your business. You're not going to make it into the new city. But you're going to be, your destination is the lake of fire. Now, people, many men don't want to go to there. Many men do not want to be in that lake of fire, and he don't want you there either. So therefore, I recommend Jesus. 
Jesus paid the price, people, and he's already set it up. We already won. We just got to stay in the race. You're going to win if you stay in the race. The only people that are not going to win is the one that give up and fall into one of those categories there about the fearful and unbelieving and all of that. And he said, all oh, liars. Because, see, Satan is a liar. See, God ain't going to let you sit in there because you're going to tell a lie. <laughs> people out there thought that would be lift us up tonight. I need lifting up. And I know you need lifting up too. We all need lifting up in these little times that we're living in. Because it can get gloomy. Matter of fact, I'm yet up because of the fact that I'm trying to just sift around and surf around and trying to get certain things done and everything. I do a little at a time as the Lord allow me. And I find myself people, and I mean I'm going to be honest and, and I'm going to be transparent with you. I find myself just kind of struggling sometimes to keep myself doing the thing that I need to be doing. That's being transparent and being real, people. I find myself struggling, trying to continue to do what I know I should be doing. I drift on off and start doing something else. When I know I should be doing certain other things. But nevertheless, we win. And so, I'm, I'm going to say to people, help me lift Jesus. Help me lift him up. In other words, help, 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 help me lift him up. And I'm going to help you. Let's stay on the Lord's side, people. I know. Now, believe it or not, if we're going to be good soldiers, we're going to have to suffer some hardship sometimes. And I do believe, people, and I know what the scriptures say, that we got some difficulties ahead. So let us ask the Holy Spirit right now to get us ready. Let us let him get us ready so we can be like the three Hebrew boys. In the face of the fire furnace, we can still tell the king that we're not going to bow. That's what many man want to That's where I want to be, people. That's what I want to be. And I'm praying to God each day so I can build my strength and my faith up that I can't stand in the evil day. And I'm praying for yours also. Because people, we win. God is going to come down here. This earth is going to be like it's supposed to be when God first created it. And you know what? No more death, no more pain, no more suffering. We can't even understand that people because we got so much of that and we that's all we know. But I just do believe that when we, if I, I believe if God was to just give us just a little taste, uh, open our eyes and let us see into the spirit world just for a moment to see how it really going to be. I don't believe we want to come back. I don't believe that. Now, I heard people say, and I'm going to end this video, I don't heard people have near death and spirit. They said that they went into heaven. And I'm not going to argue with nobody because I can't say what people didn't do. I don't know, people, but I just know that from what I read, I've never seen an angel, not that I know of. Heaven never opened to me. Everything that I have, I believe by faith from the Word of God. I've not seen anything. I've had, now the Lord have t spoke unto me in some dreams and stuff, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I saw heaven open and I went up through the clouds. No, no, no. God has not allowed Ernest to do that. God has not allowed me, the man, to do that. Why? I don't know. But whatever the reason is, it's a good one. That he don't need me to do it right now. But I'm not telling you that there are not other people that perhaps have seen things. Only thing I'm going to say is I, I've seen Revelation 21. And he said we win. And with many man, that's enough. We want to say we appreciate all of you. Everyone, JT, I hope to get your PC right, man. I know, been there, done that. You'll get it right. And Papa JT, you're going to make certain that I know that you're going to get everything right by the time I do another video or do another Bible study. I know you'll be straight. I appreciate all of you, every one of you. But we're going to have a good time with this Bible study. I can feel it. We're going to have a good time because people are going to, I believe that people are going to be saved. That's my hope. I don't worry about nobody getting making a comment, but I want somebody saved. And most of all, people, let us not lose our own salvation by being judgmental. Let us remember why we're doing things. With that being said, me and the man are going to sign off and say, y'all have a safe and a, a happy, fulfilled weekend. Be sensible. Don't do nothing that you regret. This is Mitty Man saying peace. Goodbye.